Hello and welcome to Medical Marijuana Boot Camp. My name is Jason Sterling. I'm your new Sacramento correspondent. I had the excellent opportunity today to speak for a little bit with Aaron Smith of the Marijuana Policy Project. And um, we talked about what it means to, to be a medical marijuana patient in California today. Yeah, well, I just uh, want to make sure that everybody knows uh, how vitally important it is if you uh, care about medical cannabis issues uh, to get involved with the goings-on and the happenings uh, here in the state capitol. Uh, the, the, the state legislature has enormous power to greatly affect medical marijuana patients and providers, whether it be in a positive or negative way. And it's uh, unbelievably easy to persuade state, legis state legislators by making visits at their district offices, sending letters, uh, writing letters to the editor, making phone calls and emails. And uh, if, if everybody who cared about this issue engaged their policymakers, we would have a lot easier time passing good legislation here in Sacramento. Uh, for example, uh, we're, we're working on a bill that would uh, severely limit where medical marijuana collectives could uh, operate uh, within in relation to schools. It would institute a 600-foot buffer zone around all schools in the state, um, regardless of the density of a, cer of a certain uh, the city si uh, size or density and preempts local authority. This is a very bad piece of legislation that we're uh, hoping to kill this year uh, before it, it becomes law and affects uh, thousands of patients. And uh, that's just one, one uh, example of the uh, sorts, of, sorts of policies that are made here in Sacramento that, that affect uh, everybody out there on the ground. And we hope that uh, you're able to get involved uh, to, to support good legislation and oppose bad legislation. Uh, the best thing to do right away is to get online, www.mpp.org, and uh, visit our website, sign up for our email legislative alerts, and uh, get involved, send, uh, send out letters to members of Congress or the legislature whenever we ask you to, and uh, become a member of MPP, and uh, know that you're, you're doing your part to uh, make the lives of patients and uh, marijuana consumers uh, better. It's uh, unbelievably effective. I, I talk to members here in the Capitol all the time about you know, how, many, how many letters or phone calls they've received on this issue. Uh, they do base uh, much of their decision making on that, so uh, definitely get involved, uh, join our, our website, and uh, sign up for the email alerts. Okay, um, and, and just a little bit about this bill, this AB 2650 that's being considered. Um, it, it would establish the 600-foot buffer zone, and I think a lot of people don't really understand what these things mean. In, in some communities, there might be a school every 600 feet, uh, more or less, and then there's nowhere that you could legally have a medical marijuana dispensary. So these, these, some of these ideas don't sound so bad, but they can be sort of insidious. Yeah, the, the worst, you know, the worst part about this bill is that it preempts the authority of local city councils and land use authorities to determine their own, their own, their own ordinances uh, around this issue. In some cases, it might make more sense to have a school, uh, to have a, a medical marijuana collective within 550 feet of a school, not 600. Um, you know, and to, to, to try to, to make a blanket law that affects all the cities and counties equally uh, is just bad policy. California is very diverse. A city in the, in the desert, uh, the Barstow, for example, is going to have a lot different needs than, say, San Francisco Absolutely. Or, or, or Berkeley. So um, we, we just are here to champion local, local rights on this, local authority on these types of issues.